Hello, I'm Nick. In this video, I will explore new AI features available in Figma. It will be fun. Here is a list of AI features I will cover today. And there will be one bonus feature at the end of the video. I want to start with what I think the most important feature. UI Design Generator. Click Actions and choose First Draft. You can select a category of design. Basic Mobile App, App Wireframe, Basic Site and Site Wireframe. I want to build the home screen of a mobile app. So I will choose Basic App. First, I will try a simple prompt. Home screen of a seafood restaurant with a menu. Once I submit my prompt, Figma starts to generate UI design for me. You can see that it starts to populate canvas with design elements in real time. And what I think is cool is that it adds both text and images. Image generation takes some time, so we can explore the layout while waiting for the images. Layout looks good to me. The only thing that I would change is the color. I prefer a light color scheme. Once Figma finishes design, it offers a few ready-to-use styles that we can apply to it. I really like this option, primarily because of the color combination. Neutral background and nice blue tone for the functional elements. It's possible to fine-tune this style. Click Make Changes and you can play with visual attributes, such as corner radius, spacing between elements, and textiles. One great thing about this design is that it comes with auto layout right from the start. All elements have auto layout enabled, which makes this design very flexible. OK, we generated this design using a simple prompt with only basic details. Now let's see how Figma will handle a more precise prompt. This is the one. As you can see, we specify the platform, provide information about specific content message and its location, Explain what each card in the list should have. Provide information about color scheme and a functional element order in the bottom top bar. Let's submit it. And Figma starts working on it. The first thing that I see is that the color scheme is not exactly like I want it to be. Elements located on top of the black background. The message at the top is right. The format of list items is also valid. We can find the order navigation option at the bottom top bar. The icon looks like the one from SF Symbols. Again, image generation will take some time. And once the screen is ready, we can change its style. So I will switch from the dark scheme to light scheme. This one looks good to me. But let's change the color of functional elements to blue. We can easily see how this screen will look like in the dark and light modes. OK, this looks good. But now we can easily see that Figma slightly changed the layout and the bottom top bar. Instead of the icons we had before, we now have placeholders. And there is an extra space between the last item in the list and the top bar. It's not critical, but it's something that you need to consider when working with Figma AI. It sometimes can break things. Now let's move to the second task, image generation. Instead of searching images online or using tools like Midjourney to generate them, we can now use Figma native AI image generator. Click on Actions and choose Make an image. Type a prompt. In my case, I will do cat in a hat. Once you submit the prompt, you will see a default size of image, 1024 by 1024. Again, image generation is not very fast operation, so I will speed up this part a bit. We've got a cat in a hat. Let's change the color of the hat to red. Great, now we have a cat in red hat. And what's cool is that Figma shows before and after images, so we can visually compare them side by side. Removing background is another popular operation, and Figma AI can handle it for us. For some reason, Figma removed the background of the first variant of our image, cat in a black hat. Looks like a bug. Lastly, let's try to enhance the quality of the image. Zoom in and you will see that it's a bit pixelated. Let's try Boost Resolution action. Looks more crisp now. OK, we're done with images, let's move to text. And for text I actually will use design we generated before. Copy it and paste on this page. What I want to do is to refine text, make it sound more formal and rich, so our restaurant can be perceived as a place for luxury experience. Click Actions and choose Rewrite to. Select specific part that you want to change. In my case, it will be a description of dishes. And write a prompt. 
make it more sophisticated. Nice, now our text is more formal. But there is a problem, text truncation. We don't want to have truncated text in our UI. So we can select it, but instead of fixing it manually, we can use Figma AI for that. Select text element, click actions, and choose shorten. Figma couldn't fix it on the first try. Let's give it another try. Looks better now. Let's move to the next topic, translation. I will use this design. Copy and paste it two times. We will have French and English translation of our UI. And it's good to place them side by side so we can visually compare them. Instead of doing manual work translating text from English to French, we can select the frame with our design, click on Actions and choose Translate. And select French. Figma is doing heavy lifting for us. But design is in details. When we're doing a translation, we need to consider local preferences. And when it comes to shopping, in France we use different currency. So let's select content that features dollars and in actions select rewrite this. Type a prompt, change dollar to euro. Great, now our design should work for the users from France. Let's move to the next topic, renaming layers. We have this nice table, but this table has one problem. Layers have technical names like frame 1, 2, 3. We need to fix it. Click on Actions and select Rename Layers. Figma shows how many elements will be fixed. And it starts to use AI to analyze design and fixing layers naming in real time. At the end of this process, you should see a layer with proper names. No more pain with manual layer naming. Finally, a bonus feature, and this feature is interactions. Suppose you have a few screens and need to create a transition between them. Instead of doing it manually, you can select the frames with your screens and click Add Interactions. Figma will analyze the design and create transitions for the screens automatically. For simple screens like this one, it will be simple on-click Navigate to Transition. But for more complex screens, it might be something more advanced. Anyway, it helps you quickly create a prototype you can validate with your team. This was a brief overview of new AI features available in Figma. Let me know what you think about these features in the comments. Thank you!